Hey guys, um, I've had a couple clients reach out to me about uh, some questions about the place command and their dogs. Um, Kato's one, he went through board and train several months back. He's now 10 months old. He's testing boundaries. And Bella, who uh, at the time was six months old, um, she's probably still six, maybe seven months old now because she just finished board and train a couple of weeks ago. So there are different scenarios. Um, Kato is testing boundaries due to his age, and that's what our dogs do as they get older. He's 10 months old now. He's like, hmm, I'm, you know, he's obviously more hormonal, uh, plus he is a bigger boy and he knows his size now, starting to learn his size. So he's testing the waters. So what I'll say about that to you, Bob and Linda, is this, that um, you need to uh, correct him as soon as he is even thinking about breaking place. So have that e-collar ready. Um, you can, I know that you use the bonker and he respects the bonker, so have the bonker ready. But honestly, I would just have that e-collar ready, set at a level, at a correction level. So put him on place, go do your thing, but you're really, you're pretending to do your thing, but you're watching Kato. And as soon as you um, notice that he's about to um, break place, you're going to just have it already dialed to a correction level. And a correction level is that level that resonates with him and makes him say, oh, they mean business. So I don't know what that number is these days, but it's much higher than the working level, um, I can assure you. And if you make it, it's got to suck, okay? I, I just There's no other way to say it. When you are correcting a dog, and you want them to stop a behavior and you don't want this song and dance where you're going back and forth and back and forth, it's gotta suck so that it's clear to them, oh, they mean business, I better knock it off now. So it's basically, that it's that simple. So if he continues to kind of play this game with you, you're not correcting high enough. So just go higher on the e-collar, just use the e-collar, you know, if the, if the bonker, you know, when he sees the bonker, he stays in place, but if he doesn't see the bonker and he's like, I'm getting off place, then just use the e-collar. You can do it from the next room over and you don't have to worry about it. And then it should literally be this easy. You correct him, he's like, okay, I'm stuck here. I'm, I'm just gonna do my work. And it should be that, easy peasy done. If it's not, or if this continues, then hit me up and I'll come over, okay? And I'll, we'll do a demonstration. So um, now for Bella, Bella just got home. So she's doing some, I don't know if this is attitudinal. Um, it could possibly be that you guys don't have a pet cot, and so um, just read my email um, and just follow those steps. But I just want to demonstrate for you what it should look like when you guys are just, you're, you're basically patterning in the behavior at your place, at your respective homes, okay? Uh, because remember, the muscle memory is there. The patterning is there there she knows place she understands place means this um, but for whatever reason um, if you guys are giving her too much affection early on then it's you're muddying the water it's very confusing to her so you've got to dial back if that's the case um, if that's not the case and she's just like totally confused then you need a pet cot you need to get something that is elevated off of the ground, her bed and that little, the other little insert to a crate, they're, they're not distinctive enough to her. So get a pet cot, get a couple of pet cots. You can get the small size um, through Chewy or you can go to your pet store and just pick up something that's elevated off the floor. It doesn't have to be big, but that way she fully understands, oh yeah, this is place, I remember this now. So, um, you're going to have the prong collar, e collar, and uh, the leash attached to her prong collar. And basically, what you're doing is, I would have her drag a leash until she under, till she goes to place when you say place. Um, that way, you can grab the leash and guide her if you need to. Um, but I also want you to have her e collar set to her working level. So for Bella, that's probably between two and six. It just depends on what's going on in the household. There's a lot of activity, you might have to go a smidge higher, but um, that's her working level. So let's go, break. So I'm gonna just demonstrate. Um, for you guys, you know, what you're gonna do 
is have her place here, and then you're going to take her, and you're going to walk up to place, right? And as you're approaching place from a little bit of a distance, you're saying place, hitting the button on the e-collar, and giving a smidge, a little bit of leash guidance. Um, and then when she gets on place, she should automatically get cozy and do a down like this little puppy here is doing. Um, and so the reason that I want you to guide from a distance, right? So you get to about a couple of feet or so, and you just gently guide her on. You kind of like step toward and she should get on place. The reason that I want you to do it this way is so that you're sending her there because she's used to being sent to place, okay? Um, and because we're trying to just, um, we're graduating from the leash rather quickly because she does know the command, um, but she's, she's, um, she's either playing you or she's confused. You guys decide, I don't know. I have, I'm not there to see it, so I have no idea what's going on. But I do know that Bella knows place, so um, do this step until she really gets it, but then you, I want you to graduate from the leash as soon as you can, but remember, this is the big thing. With, with Bella and both of you, there is a relationship issue, okay? You, there's a lot of love and a lot of affection, more so than there is leading, so you've got to flip that for now. You know, it's just, it's, think of it as, uh, it is totally like raising a kid and you know you can back off the leadership when she's when she's you know got the good behaviors in place but until then you've got to be super careful about it um, and also in your homes your respective homes um, she has that there there are these associations with those places they're not the training center okay so she's got the relationship with both of you that you guys have to sort out um, and then she also is like, you have to show me in this environment to do place and where place is. And I like a couple of different places in my home. Like I like, you know, something close to me and then maybe something a little farther away. It doesn't have to be like that if it's, if it's a space issue. Um, but just know that, you know, it's easier for her if you absolutely make it a pet cot. Um, and then she's she will stay there more likely than she would on something that's super low to the ground um, However, I will say this that I have a bath mat and I, I put the bath mat You probably saw uh, videos of it when she was here, but that bath mat right there That's place right I teach all my students that that is place because um, You know that way. I, I mean everybody has room for a bath mat and you can put this by a door and then you can roll your dog up. Let's go. Break. Come on, girl. Break. Yes. Okay. Place. So see, I just, I just said place. Hit the button at the same time, and she walked herself on here. So, um, and you can do that. Down. Down. And Bella knows that place means get in a down, shift those hips, and do your work. And remember the back tie, guys. You can put the back tie on. The back tie is the leash. I gave you guys one. You can slip it through like a handle like this um, and attach it to the dog's prong collar. And you can also attach it to a piece of furniture. Um, and it doesn't have to be for lo a long period of time that you utilize the back tie. Um, it is just uh, a seat belt until you get her to the stage where she's like, Mom and dad are serious. They're just like that trainer. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna do my work. So you've gotta break down that little um, relationship problem that's going on. Uh, and remember, she's really young. She's very young. She's got some really good skills, but you, you have to pattern them in now. Just like I did, you need to pattern them in by just in your daily interactions with her, holding her accountable, correcting when necessary. And if that means going up on this dial until she follows through, then you have to do it. If you don't do it, she'll know, she'll take full advantage, and you guys will struggle. 
So that's the bottom line. Um, hit me up with questions here. You can always email me. Please keep me posted. You know I want you to, to succeed and I will come out and I will demonstrate for you if I need to come to your home. All right, guys, take it easy.